As we wrap up an incredible week here in Washington, it's already time to start thinking ahead to next year. Dr. Beth Sullivan, the chair of the program committee for next year's ASHG annual meeting, is here in studio now with all the planning that's already underway, I would assume. That's correct, Dr. Yeah. All right, so this has been a wonderful week, but it's already time to start thinking about where we're headed next. We're going to Denver. We are. What can <laughs> attendees expect for next year? Well, I think just like this year, the quality of the science, it will be very, very high. The program committee is going to be looking for the best, most creative, innovative science um, across all the areas of human genetics, from clinical to basic to translational. So we'll be looking for that. We encourage you to submit your best science <laughs> for us so that we can choose you to be um, highlighted at next year's meeting in Denver. Right, and what an honor to be selected. Absolutely. What are you personally most looking forward to about next year's meeting? Yeah, so I think there are a lot of things that we're excited about. Again, like I said, we're looking for exciting science. We're looking um, for the application of these new genomic methods in either clinical medicine, understanding basic genetics, basic genetics research. We're also thinking a lot about gene therapy and clinical trials. So we're really looking for the best science in that area, and that's what I'm personally looking forward to. Artificial intelligence is now part of everything that we do. So it's not just Google, it's not just Instagram, right. um, but it's now being used to analyze genetic data sets, genomic data sets. So we're really looking forward to seeing the application of AI in human genetics. I think that's going to be on the forefront of what we're looking for. And I think another area that the program committee is really um, committed to expanding is the ethical, legal, social implications research from uh, the whole spectrum, from deep data-driven research to more public engagement, policy research, uh, legal implications. So we're really going to be focused on the best science in that area as well. So that's what I'm all excited about for Wonderful. next year. Wonderful. Well, we've got you know a year now as right. we get this planning underway. Are there any deadlines that attendees need to know about, whether it's registering or getting their submissions in? Yeah, so there are a couple important deadlines. So if you want to be involved in the scientific meeting, you want to direct the scientific content of the meeting, we have a deadline coming up in February for highlighted scientific sessions. So if you have a group of colleagues that are focused on a specific scientific theme that you would like as a, one of our highlighted sessions, please submit your application or your nomination uh, form for that. In and that's soon. That's soon, that's in February, okay. uh, it's mid-February. And then if you want to present your own science mm -hmm. um, as either a, a potential platform or post a presentation, that deadline will be in June. So start thinking now yeah. for what you want to present. This could be a trainee, it could be an undergraduate, a graduate student, a postdoc, a fellow, established investigator, early investigator. We want all of your science. We're really excited about it. So. Wonderful. All right. And they can always, of course, stay on the website for the very latest stay updates. Stay on the website. We are updating constantly. There will be email reminders. Make sure you're on the email list. If you're not a member or you need to renew your membership, please do that now so that you can actually get uh, the information as it's sent out from the society. Yes, get on it. Yes. All right. Well, thank yes. you so much in advance Absolutely. for all of the planning that, yes. that goes into this. And we hope to be back with you in, in Denver as well. Indeed. Looking forward to it. Thank, thank you, you. Andrea.